know what this one does. Is that a fucking vibrator? You come into my camp with these slim pickings. Let this be a lesson. Oh yeah, that's right. Orva's farewell. First, Frigga, and now Nilsine. How can I bear the loss of a second daughter when I'm barely over the death of the first? I cannot find any reason to continue living. My two little girls are gone. The lights of my life have been extinguished. I only hope now to be redundant in the home of guard. If the Eternals can suffer the company of one who's taken their own life, if not, whoever my soul may end up in oblivion or also has to be buried in this terrible existence. Farewell, remember me fondly often. Oh my god. I caused their mom to kill themselves. Jesus. I didn't know that was something that could happen. Thanks, Uriah. Nice, Uriah. I was so sure that would hit me. No way! No fucking way! Did you discon? Oh my fucking god! You decon, didn't you? I crashed! The whole game shut down! I fucking crashed! Yo! Oh, nah. Uh, oh, nah, I was robbed. Oh, nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's disrespectful. I'm here for rough. This fucker was pissed about me dodging his shit. I think, yo, cause that, I feel like that one hit should have hit, but I managed to roll just in the nick of time. And this fucker got so mad about that, he just he kicked me from the fucking universe. He said, stop existing for a second. He said, literally said, get fucked. Man, get up my fucking world. You're not, you don't belong here. Oh, shit. That's... Uh... That's... Yo. <laughs> Oh, that's so aggravating, but so fucking funny. <laughs> Let's get this fucking run back, I guess. <laughs> Damn. That's, uh... That boulder hurt. That's a... I was trying to make a bowling, jo a bowling pun, but it escaped me. Seems I uh, struck out on that one. Ah, uh, ah. Uh? That's just the way oh. life rolls, Evan. Oh, yes, yes. Oh my god, they sh they changed Abigail's dialogue to where she's not eating the fucking amethyst again. That's... love to see progress. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and that's your turn. They, they don't want my ass. They said, nah, you've been here too much. You, you've been here too many times, fuck off. We need new people. You eat too much at the potluck.
You know, you know, you 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 always steal it out the collection plate. Get the fuck out of here. We don't want jazz. <laughs> Not the collection plate. Hey, Nico, you entertaining the masses? Look, oh boy. Yeah, yeah, you butt squitches. You playing Power World? Hi, Booba. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. He's a good boy to me. He's a good boy. Mag glass, ball, mag glass, cuffs, bubble. Actually, wait. That's game. Mag glass, see what we got. Alright, it's a live round. Let's saw. That's GG! Feet. Feet. Feet reveal when, E? Feet reveal now. How about that? You like that, you sick fuck? You like that, you dirty little bitch? Happy? I can't hear the Junmo sound without hearing the sea bat song. Burr, 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 burr. It's awful. To be honest, I would love if Power World had a sniper rifle. Like, like it kind of goes again. Like you have to still go up and like collect the stuff, but like. There are just sometimes I'm in an area where like there's just really angry, powerful pals around that are higher than me, and it would be nice to be able to pick them off from a distance. It would probably make some of the boss encounters uh, trivial though, so maybe it's not the best idea now that I think about it. It'd still be fun. You fucking Why does the grappling hook do that? Oh my god. I wanna die. I was so close so many times. Damn, Pam, you still mad that I beat your ass at ice fishing? Stay mad. I do not Anywhere. like the spider hands. I do not like the spooter hand. What the fuck is that? A man standing on this seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're quite literally hey. standing on business. <laughs> hey, yeah, he's just standing on business. Oh my god, it's Cinco de Mayo. Dust. Oh my god, you're right, it is Cinco de Mayo. And you're a manager at Taco Bell. Oh, bro, you're fucked. Oh, you're fucked. Jesus, man, I'm sorry. Oh, you have off today? Oh, you're saved. You're saved. Oh, thank god. 
Oh my god. Uh, you would have won. You that that would have been your thirteenth reason why, man. Oh lord. Can I please hit him? Jesus Christ! Here's the thing. You never eat meat. Here's the thing. In like I, this is gonna be the whitest white person thing on the fucking planet, but mayonnaise. If people don't like mayonnaise, they haven't had good mayonnaise. You know how I know that? They either grew up in a house with Miracle Whip, or they or their family used mayonnaise for shit in ways it wasn't fucking supposed to be. Mayonnaise is at worst, you know, a condiment. It is at bet it is supposed to be an ingredient. You're supposed to use mayo as a uh, ingredient to make food better. You you are supposed to mix it in with like hot sauce and spices, and you turn it into an aioli with some oil and throw it on like a sandwich. You're supposed to use it uh, as like a thick. Like you're supposed to use it as an ingredient. You're never supposed to really like have it as just itself. If you do, that's fine. But for the love of fucking God, sprinkle some salt and pepper on that bitch on the other side of your sa on the side that side of your sandwich before you eat it. Mayonnaise is an ingredient. It is a supplement to make food better. It is a vehicle that adds a the a tangy, um, uh, umami-ish type of flavor that is not enough on its own. It can be depending on what you're serving it with, but mayonnaise needs more than that, and that is a big failure that a lot of um, uh, home cooks will generally do, specifically white suburban people who whose to, whose food will regularly have the uh, 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 seasoning equivalent of of um, chalk dust. So, so I, I recognize you do not like mayonnaise. I promise you, there are ways that you um, there are ways to use it to make it be better. A tapeworm shot is a shot, uh, is a cocktail shot that is black pepper, hot sauce, uh, vodka, but I'm replacing it with white wine and vinegar because I don't drink, and um, mayonnaise. Preferably from a squirt bottle so it looks like a fucking paper. Can you please look at the camera real quick? What? What? what, what? That's disgusting. Man. I am poor. Yeah. I am poor and I need money. Buy my fucking tapeworm shots. I will make my girlfriend will go make it cackling sweet joy at my impending suffering, and then I will do it on camera. Buy me a fucking tapeworm shot at hi.media.gg slash live. As a person who was here, I am not okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> It's just that easy, folks. It's just that easy. Well, you're not wearing the right shoes, so sure. there, there's that. What type of shoes should I be wearing for this? You got Skechers? No. I own, I own Crocs and boots. That's I I, it. I think I low-key just profiled you. <laughs> <laughs> got some Skechers. <laughs> no, I, I haven't worn sneakers since I was 10. I just feel like, I just feel like seeing... I feel like seeing Skechers on, like, a frumpy adult like myself... Just feels childish a little bit yeah like unless you're like working out why the fuck are you in this grocery store with sketches on they're comfortable why, right? why do you have sneakers on i heard sketches are comfortable <laughs> like like unless they're like all white or all black i and this is just like i'm like i'll get blasted for this i don't give a shit I, unless you're a, 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 kid, a teenager or like a kid or something, I don't think you should be wearing sneakers unless you are an athlete. Athleticism is a part of your career. You are actively working out or going to and from where you're working out or you're disabled.
coming at a lot of y'all looking at if they're not if, if they ain't what pure if they if they ain't crispy, white or black. If they ain't crisp, if they ain't white or black, and and well taken care of. I don't want to see somebody with like the black pattern on a white shoe on a sneaker staying in a fucking Walmart because like if you're twice if you're like a forty year old man looking like that I'm like what the fuck is wrong with you dude? Sometimes people just have no sense of style or just don't care. I know that, and here's the thing: I know objectively I'm in the wrong here. I do not care. I do not care. You don't care. I don't care. Not in the fucking slightest because I know I'm right. Right. I'll edit that shit out and do a clip later. <laughs> I feel like CJ's gonna kick my hat. <laughs> sketches, uh, sketches. <laughs> you don't wear sketches. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm that's saying that's sneakers. Awesome. I'm saying sneakers regardless. Sneakers regardless. Just sneakers regardless. Okay. I'm sorry. It's just like I just like. How are you a grown ass man wearing like multicolored tennis shoes? I know I'm invalidating a huge part of street culture. I'm sorry, but just like I just can't unsee you, you know, being an Andrew Tate incel or some shit. Like it's just like grow the fuck up. Wear wear some real fucking shoes. I know I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. But I don't care. <laughs> wear get your ass a pair of boots and get your ass a pair of sneakers or some house shoes for when you're in the house. So let me tell you that I'm wearing sneakers right now as he's saying this. You get a pass. You are we are, you are actively at a location where you are like like doing like physical exercise. Your job is partially physical exercise. Mm -hmm. And you exercise yourself like as as a thing. You are allowed to wear tennis shoes. I don't give a shit. It's like it's like it's like motherfuckers that wear flip flops when they're like leaving the house to go to the gas station up the street. Like, New Jersey shit. You know what I mean? Like, the only place that flip-flops are appropriate, and I know I'm calling out a couple of my uncles for this, too. I love y'all to death, but I'm right here. The only time that it's okay to wear flip-flops in public is if you're at a, at, at, at a beach venue that is also a tropical location. So you can do it in Florida. I would even argue you could even do it at Ocean City, but what you can't be doing it at is like a fucking lakefront or orchid beach or you know any other manner of like non like oceanic location that includes the fucking chesapeake bay for all my marylanders i haven't been on the chesapeake bay yet i wasn't supposed to go like two years ago it's nice it's a long story it's nice yeah. the crab's good oysters are good but um but yeah that's my uh, hot take for the day Apparently, I don't know how to eat horses. Honestly, they're better fried. No. You want to know what I like about, like, when you dig into the lore and, like, how the world is and, like, you know, to the level of how fucked the world is? Um, uh -huh. Elden Ring is a inherently more hopeful game than Dark Souls is. Like, by the time Dark Souls 3 comes around, um... Like shit's fucked. Like I like, oh, yeah, he, like, no, sure. like e even if the age of dark does come to fruition, there is still like a unconscious of unconscionably small chance that like it'll actually have anything good happen, right? Yeah. And you know, but in Elden Ring, you know, there is hope. You know, Mel Melina says it herself that, like, this world is needing death indiscriminate. You know, things are stagnant, but people prevail. Babies are born. Yeah. Things persist. You know, you know, that, that, yeah, that is a lot that, more hope. There's, there's a, well, a lot of hope. Like, there's, there's inklings of, like, the possibility of a functioning like society and state. There's, I think that's part of the reason why like I jive with the lore of Elden Ring so much more. It's not just that it was my first one, like first FromSoft game, but I think it's just I am inherent. I generally am a hopeful leaning person. Hey, fucker. 
And uh, at least for me, you know, a part of me feels like you know, shit's fucked, but it's only fucked because, you know, people, like, aren't, weren't doing what they should, and, and people can choose to be better. I like it a lot in that way. Not. There's a boss down here, by the way. I thought it was just gonna be like a cave. Again? The fucker got me again? You know what? Fuck hope. <laughs> I'm embracing the island. This, this shit can go fuck himself. I don't give a damn anymore. <laughs> Alright, no oh. one. <laughs> I was like. Oh, I'll get this one. Okay, no, I don't know. I don't need to. He's a, he's a, he's a pink I, I, mist I think in the wind. Like that. <laughs> like, whoops, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> you want to explore this cave? See if there's any actual goodies in it, or absolutely not. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck that shit. I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go get my shimmer and ruin that bullshit catacomb with illusionary. Okay. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it. Not. I don't like it here. You would like it. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it here. <laughs> Minthara Shadow Heart had a poison decision to make. Here's the thing. I'm going to. Okay. Ace, if you want, here's how. There gonna, you are. Give Give me one second. One of my chatters is about is about to determine whether they want to romance Minthara or Shadowheart, and I need to help him understand something here. What? So Minthara, Baldur's Gate three. Hold on. Minthara is if you have if, is if you have if you want a, a dummy mommy who will love you unconditionally and and and. And will and is a ride or fucking die, a hundred percent no hard there. She will get you into some bullshit, and she does not care about the the well being of others. She is lawful evil, but she is committed. Shadowheart is an e girl that you can actually fix. So knowing oh. so knowing those two things, Ace of Blades, there's your thing. Shadowheart's got a great storyline; it weaves all throughout the thing. Minthara. A little lighter. There isn't as much. You have to kill the Grove to go to to you know, you know, romance her and stuff. But do with that mm. information what you will, my friend. Like a I one, two, that. three series, three episodes, and why the fuck is Steve Buscemi trending? That man better not have fucking died. No, he was just assaulted in New York City. Or what? It's Steve Buscemi. Why would you insult Steve Buscemi? It's Steve fucking Buscemi. He was in Spy Kids 2. He dropped the greatest fucking bar in that movie from Spy Kids 2. And you're just gonna uh, uh, and you're gonna sucker punch Steve Buscemi? Get fucked. The only thing that saves me here is him being not reading cards or knowing what they do. And we're and we're good. He doesn't know what he's doing. Let's fucking go. He had he put if he hit Raijin again, he would have won. Oh, I love it when people don't read cards. He's a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I know it. Extreme tryout duel. This is an event where the effect of the spell card double summon is always applied during duels. Oh, flu's gonna be disgusting. Ew. Uh, I just want to just say for the record, I recognize that, like, the platforming aspects of Another Crab's Treather is certainly better than most Souls Likes games, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm keep it a hundo. Like, I really, really, really would have preferred. Like, th 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 this is the, this is the level. This is the level in Another Crab's Treather, which is like. This shit's just too fucking long. Like it's overstayed as well. Like not to say it's bad, not to say I don't, I don't like it, or it's, I think the games I lost. I'm just like I am done with this fucking buyout. 
because it's already it's also in the flow of the veil, which we've already I've already done it. Like just tired of like gunk fuel poison swamp. That's just me kind of at this point. It, like I noticed I was actually getting old. I was getting to adult age. When I like uh when I went to Kate's I went I went to Kate's. I would go to Kate's all the time when I was in like uh college and everything. I would like go over there like every other week over there, have fun over there, dancing, do my little move call I call it the fold. You don't need to see that. But <laughs> so, no, no 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 no. Before you can consider that story. Get your ass up and do the fold. You don't need to see the Get fold. Get your ass up and do the fold. I, you Get don't need you your don't ass need to see up the fold. and do the fold. Oh my goodness. You really want to see the fold? Yeah, do the fold. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. So, I recently learned this because I really want to learn how to limbo, but it's pretty much like that. Are you telling me? Yeah, that shit fucking hurts. That with your whole yeah, it's just, yeah, because you're not fucking twenty one anymore. You completely shit can. <laughs> Are you seriously telling me that you put your whole back on a club floor, on a bar floor? That is yeah. definitely <laughs> some college, like some twenty one year old behavior. Definitely Jesus. a pussy. But like, oh, I, I would, I would, I would do that, and I would, yeah, like, and, I would, and, I would and I would bounce up and down, hop up into it. Like yeah yeah I was there yeah, yeah it was a fun it was a fun time I'm but. sure it was fun but like I'm just like the stains in the back of your clothing oh god oh, oh yeah I, yeah yeah I took it I I needed to take a shower after that yeah but, no, like, you, you had to take a shower for them. that's super cute that's oh yeah cute. yeah she said he saw he was annoying I saw I saw I, oh, I, I saw I saw the video I saw the video yeah cute video I, I remember that he got the Matt Pat's got that Tism Riz. Yeah, he got a lot of charisma about him. Like, in, like just being a president, you can feel it. And he's a handsome guy. Uh, yeah, tall guy too. You know, like nerdy, handsome Rizzler. That's a recipe for, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's like a ball, he's like a ball of light. <laughs> I was like, oh my, I'm like, oh man, because like it's it's, pe it's people like that just, he's got that Bill, he's got that Bill Clinton energy. Yeah. Now, what I mean. <laughs> What I mean by that is, is that he has the capacity to talk to you and make you feel like you're the only person in the room. Which was a tw quality that Bill Clinton does, and probably many other celebrities. But the only reason I know that is because that was very much like, I'm thinking about a John Mulaney bit from back in the day. I come and go. Mine comes and goes. Why can't I play ESO? Let me play my silly little MMO. At least I'm not playing fucking World of Warcraft. Oh my god, wouldn't it be amazing if they fell off? It unfortunately can't. That sucks. I just, I got to wait really. What the fuck was that? Well, I looked off for a second and I just see you just falling down on your back and I'm like, oh, okay. Did I just get control C, control X, control V over the fucking edge? <laughs> <laughs> Did it do a gravity spell and just knock you off? Why do you hate me, Bethesda? Why do you crave me to suffer and feel pain in and about this place? I feel bad. I feel bad. Oh, I feel bad. Making me feel like shit. It's so real. 
I do not know why you want to hurt me like this. Oh, Bethesda, why does your game crash? Why does your game crash and make me suffer this indignity? God damn it. Huggies.